Well, look who can't get through the thingy. You know what? I think you guys need some pipe bombs in your life. Except for, guess who doesn't have any pipe bombs on him? That is so surprising. Can you believe that I left something behind that I actually needed? I can't believe that happened. It's just so unlike me. Welcome back, everybody to Undead Legacy and Old Guy Gaming, and in this episode, we're going to work on our armory. Uh, I've been given some thought as to how I want to put that together, and I think I've come up with a plan um, working with the existing arrangement in the building, so we don't really have to change anything here, uh, just add some new blocks in and that sort of thing. Uh, so the basic idea is that we will use this room, this will become our vault, and we'll go loot the gun racks and things like that, equipment racks, ammo racks, and put these on the walls in here. I'm going to open this up and put a bulletproof glass or bars in here. So it's kind of like a, um, you know how in police stations they have the, the armory and then, you know, you can check weapons out, that kind of idea. Um, just for fun, you know, add, <clears throat> excuse me, add some flavor uh, to the room. And then... Probably, I'm not sure if we'll do anything here. Well, actually, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm going to make this up as I go, as always, okay? So <laughs> maybe what we'll do is we'll put a couple of ballistics stations along this wall here um, and maybe a big safe in here for, you know, ammo in this room here. But we won't. it won't be part of the vault. Uh, the vault will have the actual weapons and armor and then the... Um, or maybe we'll even, you know, keep the armor out here and just have the weapons here. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But that's the basic idea. But I think I can get it to work without having to change the the structure as it currently is. Um, what I was going to do then is put the, the ammo benches, uh, the ballistics tables out here with some storage. And we still might do that instead. We'll see. And then probably, like, maybe plop a pool table or something down in here and leave this part of the room largely uh, as it is. Then what I was thinking is we could come into here and we could convert this bathroom into our laundry room because I do have that big washing machine and we could maybe put some garment racks and stuff in here and make this the laundry room. I had talked in a previous episode about maybe turning this into like a rec room with weights, but I got to thinking we have a, we have a whole entire floor <laughs> on, in this building that's nothing but a fitness center. Um, so maybe what we'll do is we'll just, and, you know, using the stairs to get up and down to the fitness centers, you know, gives us some cardio. So <laughs> it makes more sense to, to do that. I think, um, not sure what'll happen with this space yet. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll leave it as a kitchen or something. I'm not really sure, but, uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's the plan. So the first order of business in order to get this done is we need to go out and about, and we need to find those uh, gun gun racks and equipment racks. But I'm going to make a couple of things first before we leave. So let's go into the workbench. Uh, we're going to want a vault door. And you know what might be cool is um, Undead Legacy. Oh, I think, yeah, I think I made that safe to pay for the one I pulled out of the the create menu. So we'll just throw that in the ground and let it disappear. Um so we have in this game, uh, in this mod rather, um, some really cool like, yeah, these kind of doors here, power powered sliding iron door, and like a blast door. That would be really cool to use for our our vault. And oh man, it's gonna take research data though, isn't it? Darn it. That's the one thing I don't have a whole lot of. Well, maybe we start with 200 research data. Yowzers. Oh, wait. No, am I looking? Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm looking at how to research it. We already know some of these. So a sliding iron door. We have everything we need to make this except for a couple of gears. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I was looking at the research options. A powered sliding glass door. I like that even better, and it's it's actually cheaper to make, maybe? Less materials anyways. Metal double doors. 
All right, those are kind of cool looking. The blast door. That's the schematic for it. This is a powered sliding gate. Sliding glass door. Uh, okay, what's the difference between this and powered sliding? Oh, okay, so this is powered, so we hook electricity up to it. This is just one that we work... Wait, where was it? Yeah, that we work without power. Why is the powered one cheaper? You'd think the powered one would be more expensive. It doesn't really matter to me if it's powered, actually. I think I'd rather not have it powered. So, yeah, we could do this. Let's get a let's get a, a few more gears made. So I think it ju we just needed two more, and then um, we'll get this door made, and that will be the door into the vault. Because I don't think it, would there be anything that would make more sense? I mean, the blast door I guess would be even stronger. But, okay, so yeah, if we used the sliding blast door, we actually would have to expend research data to learn it, because I don't know the recipe for it. So, you know, we can always change these sorts of things later, too. Uh, so for now, let's just go with the sliding glass door. It still looks like it's very well armored, and, that, you know, that we can do it. So let's do door here. And we want the sliding glass door. Oh, we need one more. One more gear. Okay. Uh, so we'll get that made so that way it's ready to go when the time comes. And then um, what else did I want to do? Sliding glass door. Yeah, let's craft that. Okay, that'll take a minute. I was going to do something else too while we're out looking for those racks. Uh, I can't remember what it was now. Okay. Well, then let's uh let's head on out and see if we can find the racks we're looking for. We need two equipment racks, two clothing or armor racks, and then there's two flavors of gun racks. So we have to find all of those. And we have to find the ones that are whole and not destroyed. So, yeah, that might take us a while so we'll work on it we you can't craft those items um, they're not craftable but we can definitely loot them so if I put in rack here yeah nothing shows up okay um, all right are we ready to go out and about then I uh, need to get some my ammo replenished here let's go to I think I'm keeping ammo in here for now until we get the uh, you know, get the armory finished. Uh, we're a little low on shotgun shells, but not so low that I need to worry about it. And um, we got a little bit of food, a little bit of water. We're not in too bad a shape on food and water. And we have all of our tools. Uh, let's grab some gasoline for the jackhammer and chainsaw. Though I'm not necessarily planning on using those, but we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll put that down there and that down there. Actually, on second thought, I think I would prefer to take my axe and not take the chainsaw. I just have to figure out what I did with my axe. I, I have a, a, steel, a purple steel axe that I've been using that should have mods on it. I'm not even seeing it in here. Oh, it's because I already have it. Duh. <laughs> okay, never mind. Let's put the chainsaw away. Um, I guess we'll take Roberta the Robotic Drone with us. I do want the jackhammer, though, just in case we have to break something significant. And yeah, I think I think we're good. Why don't we, though, um, top off our hydration? We'll just have a red tea. And what kind of food can I make? I could make some steak and potatoes, but I'd rather kind of hang on to the potatoes for the little bit better food. 
Is our garden ready to harvest? Let's run up and take a quick look-see at that. It is. Okay, let's pick some food here. I uh, had a little bit of the metal items break when I was putting stuff on the wall, but hopefully that doesn't cause any major SI issues up here. Uh, because... Oh, look at this. We're getting three items now, too, because we up updated the living off the land. That's nice. Very nice. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little concerned about SI up here when we start doing things up here. I'm primarily planning on using it, you know, just to make a big farm. Uh, but we also need, like, a landing pad, too. So, well, I guess we'll worry about that when the time comes. Let's go back into Le Kitchen and put all this stuff away. Uh, where am I putting dried goods in here? Okay, there's that also would kind of be a farming item, but you know, there's crossover stuff. Okay, now I can't make any of that stuff. Is this broadcasting? Oh, this can't broadcast. Oh, crap. Um, this can broadcast, but why can't that broadcast? If I make my own version of that, will it broadcast? Did we do that in here? Did I make a, a cabinet in here? It doesn't look like I did. I mean, we could we could switch places with the, you know, with these things. Um, but I'd like that, you know, ideally I'd like that to broadcast. Do I have another furniture block? Um, yes, we do. Okay. So let's go into here, set this to a cupboard. And we're going to replace this cupboard. Yeah. So let's grab all of that out of there. Uh, okay, that's not the right kind. I think it's this one we need, or this one. We could repaint the front of it if we need to to look like the other one. Okay, does this broadcast? It does. Fantastic. Okay. Let's get all these back in here. All right, now let's go get our paintbrush really quick here. And a little bit of paint. Okay, let's go into here <coughs> for a second. We've got cabinet red drawers. I'm just wondering if it... If we use the red drawers in here, the red cabinet texture, it's going to look a little nicer, or is it? Um, it would be... I guess it would be this... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like the the kitchen handle look on those. This is something that looks more like what would be in a bathroom. So, yeah, let's just stick with what we have here. Unless, well, is there any other option? This is what we're currently, you know, what's currently in here. It just looks shabby, but then again, so does just about everything else, right? Uh, and th these aren't going to look any better either. So, yeah, let's just go with... With this. I think it's probably about as good as we're gonna get. Okay. I wanna uh, I wanna replace this one too because we do need empty jars to craft some things, so we'd like to have that broadcasting, but we can do that later. I don't want to spend any more time on this right at the moment because we got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do. Let's put um, you in here. And uh, you can go in here. And a couple of 
wood items can go in here. All right, guys, let's set on out and see if we... Oh, wait, we're going to make some food. <laughs> that was why we got delayed. Okay, so... Yeah, water... Oh, this. Does this broadcast? No, doggone it. This doesn't broadcast either. All right, well... We don't use most of these other drinks in crafting. I mean, some of them we would, but it's mostly the bottled water uh, that we would need in crafting. So what I'm ultimately going to do is change this cupboard to a broadcasting cupboard too and put that in there. But for now, let's just put the bottled water in here. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, so we can make a shepherd's pie. We can make some sham chowder. Two of those we can make is veg. Okay, what's better, veggie stew or meat stew? Or steak and potato. I don't remember. Let's make one of each and just compare them because I, I just don't remember off the top of my head which one of those three is the best. We will put our. Whoops. We'll put our steak and potatoes, or I'm sorry, our shepherd's pie in there for now for later when we're really hungry. I don't want to waste it on where we're at. We'll just add to our current sham chowder with the chamois. And then I want to just do a quick comparison. I know the sham chowder is better than these three dishes. Uh, if Mostly because of the buffs that it gives. But I just don't remember which of these three are the best. So we'll compare them and see what it says. Okay, this one is done. Let's grab all of this stuff, turn that off. Put that stuff in there. Okay, let's look at these three dishes here. So that gives 50 food, 25 health, 20 stamina bonus, and 20 water. This gives less water. Okay, so steak and potato meal is not as good as meat stew. And vegetable stew is not as good as meat stew. Okay, what about these two? Vegetable stew is not as good as steak and potato meal. Okay, so meat stew is the best of these three. And then this is the second best and this is the least best. So let's drink, uh, eat that right now just to top off the food. And then uh, we'll save those two and make as many meat stews as we can. Twelve, very nice. Uh, so we're going to need 11 minutes of burn time for that. That's good enough. Okay, we'll let that cook up and we'll have lots of meat stews when we get back. I think we're in good shape, ladies and gentlemen. Let's head on out and see if we can find some of those gun racks and clothing armor rack, equipment rack thingamadoodles. Our best bet's going to be like the sporting goods stores and the gun stores uh, for finding those things. We might, um, we might be able to find some of that kind of stuff in... Why is this so heavy? Oh, it's because I got the motorcycle repair kit in there. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Um, we might be able to find some of that stuff, like, in a hardware store, too. But, um... Yeah, we've got this hardware store here. Let's, um... Let's just go in here real quick. We might as well loot it, too. It looks like the Zombos have broken out of here. Oh, uh, you know what? This shelf is kind of cool looking. It's got, like, concrete and stuff on it. That'll make a nice deco. Let's grab that. Construction site box. All right, we'll take that. Um, lawn control. This, yeah, this one could be cool too, just for like our tool area. This could be cool for either a tool area or a laundry room. That one looks like shit, so we're not taking that one. Let's close that door. Uh, I wish I could find one of these that wasn't broken. 
you know, that the glass wasn't broken on. A little acid there. Okay. A utility cart might look cool. Yeah, you know, that that's just... Ooh. Irradiated Big Mama. Dangerous. That's what makes this mod so neat, you guys. We can pick all this stuff and take it back and use it to decorate our base. Uh, we can do all kinds of fun stuff. All right. I think Big Mama's going to need some of this action. Let's make sure all the rest of the action is actioned up. I wasn't going to mess with her. She is tough. You're pretty tough too, buddy. Hold that head still. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. If if we come across one of these that doesn't have the glass shattered, we might grab one of them, them too. Um, we also need a... Uh, medicine cabinet. So since we're in here, I mean, it's it's not my intention to go through this whole place, but let's just look at look and loot at a couple of things. I really, I kind of like this tub. We might do something with this tub. Let's grab it. Okay, we'll loot all that stuff. All the toilets look terrible. We might as well grab the brass. I could salvage too, but I'm not. Okay, here we go. Here's a whole medicine cabinet. That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. Okay. It's turning out to be fortuitous that we came in here. Um, I'm not going to salvage everything in here. I really don't want to spend a ton of time doing all this stuff. Because what we're looking for... Whoa, little lag. What we're actually looking for, of course, are those... Racks. But, <clears throat> again, this is actually a good place to be looking for that kind of thing. This is not a working um, thingamadoodle. I guess we'll take this apart. Get some good stuff from it. Why not? You guys are all taking bets now. You're basically saying how much how much you want to bet OG spends the whole rest of the episode in this POI because he can't leave it. There's too many good things in it. <laughs> um, do we want to take this for a decoration? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll grab it. Okay. Let's grab the computer. See what's inside of here. We might uh, be able to get some more research data. There we go. Or some more paper or some more books, all of which we need. Okay, looks like we're going clockwise this time. There we go. And one more little smudge that way. Look at that. Okay. Um, we might use this for something? I don't know. Let's just grab it. We might want a trash can, too. The possibilities are endless, you guys. Absolutely endless. Okay. Okay. That's decent loot. We already have a bulletin board. We'll grab another one, because you never know. Okay, so at some point I need to, to stop doing this and get back on track. It's, it's, it's worthwhile to do, there's no doubt about it, but that's not why we're here. Any more brass faucets? Here's another medicine cabinet. Let's grab it. Yeah, here's two more brass faucets. We don't need the shower heads. There's more track lighting in here. Let me grab that. 
because this stuff is cool and if we can if we can actually hook it up to power uh, we can do some neat things with it especially if we can hook it up to power and then make it brighter which i think we should be able to do okay anyway um this is the hardware store let's just kind of try our best to stay on this side there's another medicine cabinet we'll grab this Little trash thingy. I'm not going to search the normal boxes. They're definitely worth searching, but again, we're trying to stay on task here, and I'm not doing a very good job of it. Good. More research data. I'm going to leave all that stuff there for now. Oh, I keep forgetting we need to be grabbing doors because we get uh, nuts, bolts, hinges, that sort of thing. Those are worth taking apart. These are worth taking apart. So we get mechanical parts there. What do we get for taking this apart? Electrical parts. Okay. Okay, let's go upstairs. Uh, if I recall right, in this POI, we're going to get rushed as we go up these stairs here. This is an... I think this is an Alpha 17 POI. You know there's going to be zombos around this corner, or at least in that room. I think we can creep over trash without making noise. Really? Okay, well, they're going to be in there then. Um, let's, let's just loot this food. I know there's useful stuff in here, but we'll leave it for now. Are they going to come through the ceiling? How is it that we're not getting massively rushed right now? I'm not saying I want, it to, want to be, but you guys want me to be. Shit. All right. We got an irradiated Big Mama. Oh, shoot. And an irradiated biker and a bow. You guys are all very mean. Whew. Okay, we got an infected and we got an abrasion. Do we have a small bandage? Um, don't. Do, 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 do. I'd rather not use a large bandage, but we might not have a choice. Or a large medicate. Yeah, we'll just use the big one. Alright, and then do I have... I've got one herbal antibiotic. I have a bunch of normal, regular antibiotics back at the, back at the ranch, so we're in good shape on that stuff. So we'll put that there. All right, let's uh, keep on keep it on here. We might since we've already come this far, we might as well at least get the, to the end loot in this POI, and then hopefully we'll have a little bit more time to try another place. I uh, know I'm gonna leave all that stuff there. We'll check this. Clothing, that, and is there anything up here? I don't think so. Okay. Make sure we're all loaded up here. Um, We go here, right? Birds? Okay, so we got to go through here. Oh, look at that, copper ruski. I don't, you know what? I don't even remember exactly where the fat loots are in this place. Is this reloaded? Mm. 
All right, some of the Zeeks will probably drop through the floor. Okay. Took her out. There's something in here. No, I don't think so. Oh, maybe there is. It's only a thousand hit points. Nope. Something behind here. There sure is. All right, cool. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've been in this POI. Little while, man. It's been a little while. Pick this up. See if we can get that guy to blow up and hurt the lumberjack. Very nice. Have him do a little <clears throat> little bit of our work for us. Okay. Let's go into here. A little bit of lag going on. Right in the nuts. Can you imagine? It, it, have you guys ever seen um, Ozark? There's a scene in Ozark. I don't remember which season. And if you have seen it, you know probably what I'm talking about where... That happens. A, a bad guy basically gets shot right in the junk with a shotgun. It's like, I was just cringing <laughs> after that episode. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's check this. Again, I'm not going to do the, the basic stuff uh, for now. Let's see, what are, we came, yeah, we came through there. Did we check this? There we go. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What's over here? We got an office in here. With a hidden compartment. We'll pick up the lamp. Loot the filing cabinet. Close that door just in case someone sneaks up on us here. All right, come on, counterclockwise. You've been you've been kind of letting me down lately. Okay, well, not this time. You're making me look like I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Well, I don't ever know the hell I'm talking about. But still, that's beside the point. Okay. All right, let's get up here. Everybody still loaded? Let's pick these up. Oh, we can't pick these up. Oh, man. Bummer. That's some pretty decent stuff. Oh, no. Is this that... Uh... Oh, no. Never mind. Okay. This... This shoot here... No, this isn't the place I'm thinking of. There's another kind of triple store area like this where every time I've tried to go down the chute, I I end up um, falling and breaking my leg because it's kind of a tricky jump. Okay, I want bad guys to spawn down here so we can blow them up. There's usually some more Zeeks that spawn um, in the area. Let's see if we can wake them up. All right, well, we got him. It sounds like there's another one that didn't quite fully wake up. Yeah, there he is right there. Couldn't really get a headshot. I probably could have if I would have gotten a little better positioning. All right, there might be one more. Yep, there is. Okay, we should be able to take him out. Easy as pie. Easy as pie. 
Uh, you're all dead, right? Yeah, you're all dead. Okay. Let's get the fat loots real quick. There's a small bandage. Um. No, not that. Get up there. Okay, this is locked. Counterclockwise, baby. Oh, look at that. Maybe back this way a smidge. Hot darn. Uh, we don't know that, huh? Well, we do now. And that's some nice steel chest armor. What are we wearing right at the moment? We're wearing purple steel chest armor. And it is better than the blue, but that still was a very nice piece. Okay, I want to pick this up too. Uh, we have to repair it first? Okay. Probably damaged it with the explosions. Where is this? Super. Okay. Chop Fido up there, and let's check the boxes. Seriously? That's an insult. <laughs> okay. Um, let's learn it. Let's scrap it. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad of a looting sesh, even though that, again, wasn't really my full intention. Um, let's get down and see if we can get one more place in before we need to wrap up this episode. I'll grab these. Okay, what do we have that is the heaviest in our inventory? That's a heavy bathtub. I would imagine that would be heavy. We'll just throw some of this stuff in the bike. That's good enough. I don't want to spend a lot of time. Okay, we need to find a sporting goods, you know, like the uh, the Bass Pro types of places. Can't remember what they're called. And or we need to find the uh, Shaka Messiah. And I know we have both of those types of stores up this way. We've looted them before. There's a working stiffs, but I'm not going to go in the working stiffs for now. Okay, let's go. I know there's like one of those really big sporting goods stores in this general vicinity. It might be further down this way. Poppin' Pills might have some... Yeah, Savage Country, that's what I'm looking for. The Poppin' Pills actually might have some medicinal shelving that would look cool. Uh, but let's go in here first, because we know for sure it's going to be in here. This is going to have repops. It's been a very long time since I've been in here. Oh, Lord. Okay. Self. Let's take one of these. And is our infection... Yeah, it still says treated. Okay, that's just going down. Uh, Alright, so... Let's, let's grab a couple of these types of bookshelves just for funsies. And I don't know if I'll use this kind of a clothing rack, but let's take it anyway. Can we also pick this up? Yeah, we could actually do some stuff with this, man. We'll grab some of these shel shelves, too. The possibilities, man. The possibilities. What is that coming in as? Yeah, a, clo a clothes shelf. Perfect. Okay. 
Um, oh, those. Why did those break? Damn it, Jim. All right, you know what? That's enough of that. We could we can come back here later and get more of these these items. Um, what I really want to do is I want to get these this stuff back here. Shit. Um. I don't really like the way that shelf looks. We, I don't know if we grab this one or not. Let's just grab it. Okay, this is what we want. Oh, yeah, this is exactly what we want. Okay. Let's grab, we want two of these. And this is one of the two types of gun shelves. Okay, so this is the one that has... How are we going to tell them apart? I, I don't remember exactly what the other one looks like, so let's just grab it. Now, here's a question. If we put something inside of here... Oh, those aren't lootable. Never mind. Um, I'm really kind of only planning on having two of these, but let's grab the other ones, too. All right, great. So that means we've got the we've got one of the two gun racks that we need and we've got all of the armor racks that we need. Okay, there isn't really much reason for us to continue on in here cuz the place has been looted. But we will definitely come back here if I decide I want some more clothing types of um can we loot these? Really? We can loot mannequins? Okay, let's grab a couple mannequins. We could maybe have some fun with those. Like, have the... Set them up as, like, scarecrows to scare zombies. Like, as if that's actually going to work. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Um, here's another savage country. Let's run through this one really quick. We're going to have to fight off the hordes again. Um, I think I'm going to top off my health. We got it, some first aid bandages. Let's do that. And do I have a health bar? I do. Let's take one of these two. And let's take a sham chowder because that'll give us a fortitude and 30 maximum stamina bonus. Not to mention food and water. All right, wake up, little Susies. Pop us home. Where are you? Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is the big store. Okay, so... Where are we going to find the gun rack thingies? And Okay, I was going to say, and why aren't we being attacked by Zombadoodles? All right, come over here. Got a copper ruski. Come on, bruh. No blowing up. Yeah, there's a lot of cool clothing things in here that we could get later on if we wanted to. If I recall correctly, oh, this guy is unbelievably tough. <laughs> Good Lord Almighty. Did we not loot all this stuff? Apparently not. Here, let's grab that. Oh, it needs to be repaired. Okay, I'm not too worried about it. I need 
to get his head, but he's all over the place. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, neat. There's some tool shelves in here. I guess maybe the last time we came through here, I was in such a hurry that I didn't take the time to grab this stuff. But I'm just, you know, as I look at this, I'm, it's just giving me all kinds of cool ideas for decorating our base. So let's grab that. I don't really like the look of those shelves. They're just too shabby looking. Um, we'll grab that. You know, we can make like a workshop. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we should have a dedicated workshop instead of having all... Ooh, nice. Instead of having all that stuff in the crafting room. That's an upgrade. Well, let's see if it is in fact an upgrade. Yes, it is. Look at that. All right. Modify. I need to look into getting some more mods on my stuff, too, because obviously there's available slots. Cool. Okay. Nice armor upgrade there. Um, I know we've grabbed a couple of those, and I think we've grabbed a couple of these, too, but let's just grab one more of those just in case. Why, thank you, buddy. Nice. I'll take that stuff. All right, where are the gun racks? We have a contestant here on the sniper is right. Well, look who can't get through the thingy. You know what? I think you guys need some pipe bombs in your life. Except for, guess who doesn't have any pipe bombs on him? That is so surprising. Can you believe that I left something behind that I actually needed? I can't believe that happened. It's just so unlike me. Okay, this is this is the fat loot room. I wouldn't mind getting that metal chest there. Um, there are some of those racks in there, but it looks like they're all the armor ones that we don't need. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, let's grab this. Is that a Christmas tree? Nope. Um, I know UDL has a workstation that you can make to make like holiday decos. We might mess around with that around Christmas time. Okay, there's still a bunch of clothing things in here, but not what we're really looking for. Oh, sh Nikes. wrecking all those racks. I might want to use them someday. Okay. It is laggy as all get out in here. Ooh. What are those? What level are they? Level four. Okay. I haven't found any level fives. I had level fives in, in Ravenhurst, and they were really nice. I don't think we need three medicine cabinets. We already have two. I'm just trying to figure out how we get to that room. I guess we have to go up here, right? Okay. Oh, okay, that's the satchel. Hmm. 
Yeah, I remember doing all this parkour business here. The last time we were in this place. It's a dressing room. That's a lot harder to do than you might think when it's so laggy. Um, do I go that way or this way? Um, oh, yeah, around here. Okay. Okay, we eliminated one enemy in here. That doesn't mean there aren't going to be more, though. But here's the thing, though. I mean, there's a one weapon, uh, one armored there and one armored there, and that's all that's in here. We already have those. Oh, man, that sucks. There's no, not really any, any point in going down there. We're just going to get rushed by a bunch of Zeeks anyways. Okay. Well, why don't we wrap up this episode um, by... I want to just take a quick peek in the poppin' pills to see if there's like any medical types of racks that we might be interested in. And if there are any, they'd probably be in the back. You again? Oh, shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Balls! Oh! There is... There are very few zombos in this game that are more dangerous than an irradiated biker. Son of a beech nut. Ugh. All right, um. Wow, looks like I'm oiled. <laughs> I got oiled skin. I don't know what that is. How far away is our shit? Um, uh, we died. Where do we die? Oh, right here. Yeah, I guess that's far enough to warrant a mini bike ride over there. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. Let's go get our stuff. just want to peek into the back room here real quick and see if we have any uh, cool uh, decorative racks. Yeah, uh, this is this is not a good idea. We're gonna have to check later because um, it's almost it's almost nighttime. Anyway, Whew, okay. So guys, um, we, the, the thing I guess we could do is, I mean, we could get started with the armory with what we have and just leave placeholders for, you know, the other weapons racks that we want to get. Um, I'm sure there's a shotgun messiah somewhere in this town. I just don't remember exactly where it would be. That's going to be our next best bet for finding more of those racks. So what we'll have to do is just kind of, you know, ride around and look for those or, you know, more Savage Country stores also uh, would work very well for that. So either of those two types of stores, I think, are going to be our best bet for finding, um, you know, more of the weapons racks. But I think what we'll do is we'll use what we have for now as 
and, and just kind of put placeholders down for the other weapons racks until we can find the rest of what we're looking for. So the plan uh, for the next episode will be that we'll get back to working on the armory uh, and going from there. Now, as soon as probably what's going to happen, guys, just just to kind of give you a heads up, as soon as I get the armory finished, I think we're going to stop working on the rest of the base for, for now. And the next thing we're going to focus on is getting the elevators in place. Because once the elevators are in place, then, then I'm going to update to the newer version of Undead Legacy. All right, so that is the plan. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.